India, and he recently came back to this planet for good. Chris Hadfield found a way to rock out, out in space. It's an incredible uh, existence living on a space station. I mean, you work really hard, but you have the opportunity to play a little bit. But even before the Canadian astronaut strummed and floated his way to nearly 17 million YouTube hits, he was a social media celebrity. Toothbrushes soak up water nicely, so now I have a nice, wet toothbrush. Hadfield first gained a following for showing what life is really like in orbit. Everything from how astronauts make sandwiches, wash their hands, and shave. Mustache requires a little extra attention. Have to use a vacuum cleaner. I just try and be myself. And it occurred to me on the space station early on that if I saw something that I thought was kind of cool or funny, people would too. Hadfield always dreamed of becoming an astronaut, even as he grew up on a farm in Ontario. He served in the Air Force and was so decorated, he was picked for the Canadian Astronaut Corps. Hatfield has made three trips to space, and earlier this year became the first Canadian to command the International Space Station. Very few human beings have flown in space. We're there on behalf of everybody else. You know, we are the eyes and the ears uh, of, of this new experience. His job so much, he wanted to share its perks with the world. And that's why he treated his nearly 1 million Twitter followers to these breathtaking photos of Earth. The Black Sea, the U.S.-Mexico border, and Paris, proving why it's called the City of Light. Social media is contagious, and, uh, and we really had something that, that people found interesting. He recently retired after serving 21 years as an astronaut, and we Earthlings have welcomed him back with open arms. More times than I can count, I've had complete strangers come up to me in the street and tell me that they're proud of me. It's a wonderful feeling to have a stranger be proud of you. You know, it, I, don't, I don't know of any higher compliment. His love of space is really infectious. He's working on a book about his time in space, and that is due out later this year. Just